the Fire family, it's Karen Fire, and welcome back to you, Ken and XR. Today, we're going to be looking at the Elder Vaults, their locations, and what level I recommend you to go in them. Now, ideally, with Elder Vaults, I always kind of think that you should start going in them from level 15 to 20 to up. They can range from those levels all the way to level 60 in difficulty, and the, well, the health of the strength of the creatures can vary between each vault. So I'm going to show you some of my locations starting from the level kind of 10s to 20s all the way up to 60s and which ones I recommend you do in order. So we're going to start with Refuge of the Gremlins. This is a pretty low level dungeon that you can do which is full of, well, gremlins. The gremlins aren't really hard to take down at all. Just bleed them out or step back a little bit and they're just fine to kill and they give a really nice source of uh, material at first as well. So that's why I quite like them. And then, of course, the boss is the only thing you need to be worried about in these gremlin dungeons due to it having a slappy attack, but I think as long as you dodge, you should be just fine. So this is the one I would probably start off with. Our next place is very similar as well. It's another goblin elder vault. So you've got the same difficulty I recommend, 15 to 20 and up, that you can start this one at. And it's a brilliant starter one as well. You can find it in one of the crevices going down connected to the main bit of the map. So if we look at my map location right now, you can see Refuge of the Goblinoids is a really good place to start off as well as the other ones. So they're pretty kind of close to each other, these two, if you wanted to knock out a double whammy just to start with. Now we come to one that I would say is probably late 20s in level that you should probably come to. It is called the Asylum of Fiends. Now the creatures here look really scary, but they're not all that hot. You see, you can probably block most of their attacks and they're not that bad. Also, the thing with this vault is I've noticed that they do hide a lot of tools in the chest. So it's almost like they're screaming for you to come here pretty early to go and loot it for that reason and that reason quite specifically. So it's really quite good of a vault for those reasons. If you do come here, the higher 20s, depending on how risky you want to do it, then yeah, it's very good. Just be careful with the boss because he does have a big slam attack. That can really, really hurt, so you definitely need to use your uh, dodging if you want to go for the uh, absolute full thing here. Now I'm going to go up to level 30, and this is when you should start considering vaults such as the Asylum of Outsiders and a few more. So here we go here, we are at one of these vaults, we have a look on the map. You can see this one is up the top here, so Asylum of Outsiders is a spider vault, and it's not too awfully bad. The only thing you really need to be careful of in this vault is the spider webbing that gets you a little bit stuck down to the ground a bit. Apart from that, if you bring a shield, it is not bad at all and is pretty easy to take down. Coming to our next vault, we're at the Valeri of Jill. Now, this is a bunch of Jills around. They don't really hit that hard, but they do have a lot of HP. But I think if you bleed them out, it should be just fine. So we have another one of these near the middle. So Valeri of Jill, definitely do try it out. The only problem you'll probably get here is just the climbing puzzle can be quite difficult sometimes if you're not used to it. So that's one thing I would say you probably need to be concerned about. But apart from that, not too bad. Now coming to the Bastion of the Bat Demons, another level 30 vault or 35 I would probably say nearing. The boss isn't that hard to take down, especially if you dodge his attacks and his health pool is pretty low. Most things you can actually avoid in the dungeon and just run right through. So that's kind of why I recommend it as a 30 as well, since it's not too difficult that way. Anyway, if you'd like to find this location on the map, you can find it right here in the right hand corner at the bottom. You can find this vault right here. And here we are at our next location. This is Harbour of the Twice Drowned. I quite like this as a lower level vault since you can actually skip a lot of it. Because of the water system they have in there, you can pretty much, well, not fight most of the things in there, which makes it a considerably easy vault that way. Plus, you get some loot underwater, and, well, uh, it's not too bad on fighting the boss either. So, I definitely recommend this one. It has a 30-35 kind of thing, and you should be just fine as long as you have, like, a little follower after you helping you as well. And if you'd like to know where this one is on the map, you can see right here, Harbour of the Twice Drowned. Okay, so now we're done with our 30 ones, let's have a look at some of our level 40 ones that I can recommend to you. That might be a little bit more difficult. So we're going to start off with Demise of the Demon Spider. I definitely recommend as a level 40 dungeon, although I imagine you could probably cut it off on a late 30s as well. This dungeon is full of spiders and you'll probably only have to be very careful of 
either the boss or the medium sized spiders in there. Apart from that, a dungeon is not too bad in general. And you can find it right here, just uh, above, kind of near the middle, but to the side. And then we come over to Harbour of the Drowned, not to be mistaken with the other one. This one's slightly more inland and is pretty good to do. I quite like it anyway because you've gotten lots of swimming. At the moment there is a bug with them currently. I'm sure they'll be fixed in the future, but it's a good level 41 I'd say. And uh, yeah, not too bad. As long as you dodge the fishman's vomit attack, then I think you should be completely fine. Or use a shield and that will also help dodge that. If you'd like to locate this one, you can find it right up in the left hand corner of the map. In this little pool of water here. Now going into a slightly more scenic location, we have the Den of the Wolfman, another level 40 to 45 dungeon. Now you have a lot of wolf beasts, they will knock you down, but if you dodge them you should be completely fine. And I'd say the difficulty is about unscratched there. Now with the wolf kind of elder vaults, you do have the boss that can pretty much nearly one shot you with one attack. So you'll have to be careful with the one where he flings you. But apart from that, if you just dodge that, he has a really small health pool. So it's quite easy to tear through his health bar anyway. But you can find this place at the top of the map on the right hand side. Den of the Wolfman, there you go. Now it's time to move on to some level 50 dungeons where things get a little bit more spicy. We're starting off with the Den of the Wolf Brothers, which is different from the Wolfman one we just looked at. It's further into the Redwoods and you can find it here. Again, you get the same problem with the boss. But I do find you get a lot more targets in this one, so it's kind of worth having that uh, extra levels to go into here I would say really or a really strong fall either way and now we go to what I'd probably refer to as level 60 dungeons because the creatures here have a lot of health and wow some of the situations could be quite dangerous however I'd probably say this is a low 60 well 50 kind of so probably like a 55 or a 58 kind of kind of uh, vault here but it's uh, it's not too bad you can do this one quite fine and uh, yeah, there's just a lot of mobs in this one, so you'll have to put up with uh, quite the storm of snakes. You can locate this right here under New Luxor, just on the right hand side of this map. And here we come to the last out of vault, probably one of the harder ones out of all of them due to how it's set. There's poison on the floor, there's poisonous eggs that explode also here, and the creatures have pretty big health pools. So you do need to be very careful with this vault, and it might be worth bringing something like a gas mask indeed. Apart from that, I would definitely label it probably the hardest one out of them all. Especially how you have to go through this actual city to get here, which is full of undead that want to murder your bum. So yeah, it's quite dangerous in that way, but you can find it right in the center of Axolot. So there you go, Sanctuary of the Serpent. So level 60 dungeon indeed over here. Anyways, that wraps it up for this video. Thank you for watching. I love you all and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.